Hello, and welcome to Dratman Plays XCOM Enemy Within, episode 27. We have a covert mission to do. Um, and before we get started on that, let's just have a quick review of the upcoming events. In five days, we will have researched new fighter craft, the Psionic Labs, and the satellites will be ready in eight days. And in 12 days, we can launch those satellites right before the Council mission. Excellent. So we're going to have some fun the next couple weeks. Let's do this uh, covert data recovery mission. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. All right. Um, we want to send our top squad on this mission. Um, I historically, personally, have had difficulty with these exalt missions. Um, so I'm gonna bring an extra support and an extra heavy or an extra heavy or something completely different. Um, let's go for an extra heavy. Make items available. Armor. Now, do I want to go for the big one? Maybe I do. Uh, yeah, sorry, Doc. But, uh, downgrade you slightly, sorry. I want to get more of these big guns. I mean, eventually we'll be able to buy them, but it'd be nice to be able to just find some lying around. Uh, I don't think we need an arc thrower. I might give her a scope, though because her aim is not the best. And with the big gun, I want to make sure she connects with that. I think that was good. Yeah. Edwards, Carabas Armor. Big sniper rifle. And... Do we even need to bother giving you a scope? Holy crap with that. Well, I notice we can't use the Reaper rounds anymore, so that's... They're coming to the end of their usefulness at this point. Um, do we want to give them the scope anyway to give them a massive uh, aim? Or do we want to give them a, a little toy, a flash grenade? Yeah. Might as well give him like 100% chance to hit most of the time. I mean, if he gets penalties for being too close, I guess this, that would help. Carapace armor, yeah. We we will research these soon. And I think he gets extra grenades, so we'll do that. Of course he has terrible aim. Dixon, yeah, you're good. And I'm hoping that next month when we once we get our next big infusion of cash, we can deck everyone out with uh, plasma weaponry. And I think we have plasma pistols, so we should be able to improve all their sidearms as well. I'm going to give her a scope, just because her aim is so bad. Alright, I think we're good to go. Exalt has another cell operating inside the Argentinian border. Strike One will have to secure the area and ensure our operative can retrieve the intel we need. Okay. Now I'm trying to remember, have we done an Exalt mission yet? Yes, we have done at least one, I think. Uh, and that one wasn't too bad. This one, I don't like this map. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, prevent Exalt from hacking our encoder so as to stop them from learning the transmitter's location. So there's an encoder. If they hack that, they learn where the transmitter is. If that fails, protect that a transmitter until exalt forces are eliminated. Either way, we have to kill all the exalts. Um, and I guess we fail if they blow up the transmitter. So number one, they got to find out where it is. So if they hack the encoder, they'll find out where the transmitter is, and then they'll attack the transmitter.
operative was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. New objective received. So, I think this is one of those games where if these lights are green, it's good. Um, I think if an Exalt guy gets into this, just anywhere in this area, um, they can start hacking, and I don't know how long it takes, maybe just a turn or two. Um, I believe that if we both have uh, soldiers in this area, they can't do the hack. So one option is to kind of be defensive and get in here and um, like prevent them from getting in on their own. Uh, now the thing to keep in mind is, oh there's our operative there, he can, well there's a couple things, one thing, he can run up to these guys and uh, activate it or hack it and if he does that then the exalt forces um, get all their weapons jammed. They call it like a communications hack or something along those lines, but effectively what it does is it causes all the uh, exalt forces to have their guns jammed and they have to use a move to unjam them. Now, so there's one here. Do we know if there are any others yet? I don't know if we can see them. There's usually a few sprinkled around the map. There's another one there. I don't know if there's just two. How far does this map go? Oh yeah, there's the edge. I don't know if there's any inside the buildings. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, so last time I played this mission on this map, I got my butt handed to me. <laughs> um, and part of the reason is that the Exalt Forces have explosives. And, uh, yeah, I just, my guys got wrecked with, like, rocket blasts. It was just not good. So, our guys are over here. So they can kind of enter the building from here. But this is the area they need to defend. Now, the last time I played this, I brought all my guys in through this door. I had them bunched up. And then a rocket launching guy, like, shot them and blew them all up. It was not good. So I might use him just to open the door to see if we can see any exalt yet inside. We don't. I'm just sort of wondering whether I want to split up my squad a bit. The sniper has got the most powerful weapon we've got, but in close quarters he's not necessarily going to be as effective. I'm wondering, like I think, like the entry points for the Exalt Forces I think are like around here and around here, and I think they can enter from any part of the map. So I'm thinking maybe keeping him and an assault maybe, um, together. Maybe these three together and then I'll take these three and send them over this way. Let's see what uh, Head into that location. Yeah, I can see. I guess ostensibly these guys, their job would be to defend the transmitter. Rolling. I think this car's already blown up. Like, Will do. I don't think I need to worry about him getting exploded. All right, now you three have a lot more ground to cover, so you can uh, double tap over here. Uh, it looks like Exalt deployed a series of communications relays in the area. If our operative can get close enough and access the relay using the encryption keys they acquired from Exalt's data, they should be able to temporarily disrupt the enemy's comm network. <laughs> Orders confirmed on the move. Make it go have a look. Right? <laughs> um, actually, I might want to keep him in range of this because he could run over here and activate it if things get bad. So maybe I'll just put him on overwatch here. Can't do anything. I guess he can hunker down. Watch. Watch. Okay. Moving. 
Moving to position. Enemies in sight. Yeah, so look, there's three of these guys. Rocket launcher. I feel like the one that went there might have had a, a weapon. No, oh, she's flanked, so that sucks. This is what happened to me last time. I don't know what you're supposed to do here. Well, first of all, this guy can run over here and click this relay. Oh, there's another one back there, so there's three on the map. Heading there now. I think I might do that because, I don't know, I don't want these guys shooting at me. Enemy communications are down. That should keep Exalt busy for a while. Seven versus two forty twos. I think the two forty twos is actually better. No way that just happened. Boom. like a soldier in this fight so maybe he should make his way over to this maybe just you know be able to be of some use hitting that next time all right well i'll wait until we find out if anything's going on over here on the move Running. I think from here he'll be able to see a lot of like totally down here. So if any bad guys come in, he can tag them. I understand. Moving. Okay, you can stay on overwatch there. Negotho. You come this way. Aye, aye, Commander. Now, pretty sure that those guys can't shoot this turn, but I'm also pretty sure that they will be able to shoot Moving next to turn. Three. Moving to position. Man, he's getting out over there. Hostiles inbound on strike one's position. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. Yeah, it's a lot of bad guys. Oh, I can't see anyone yet. Ah, that's a bad look. Is that just they're too far away? Does he have squad sight? It does. Okay, so I 
who's getting hot over here? Two sixty twos versus one seventy seven. Okay, um, sixty two twice. I think that's a better chance to hit, but it is burning through ammo quite quickly. Let's try the single shot. smoke grenade with her. Ninety-nine percent chance, but it's a guarantee to take this guy down. Maybe we have to do that. Whoa! No way that just happened. I agree, that's BS. Missing a ninety-nine? I think that's the first time it's happened in this game. She got me. Yeah, sixty-four. If this hits we'll call it even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he comes to here. Then one, two. I don't think he can get all the way over to the transmitter next turn, so I'll get him a bit closer. I wish this guy was more effective. You know, put him on Overwatch, and I hope that some bad guys will come down on Sally, but... I'm gonna bring out here and see if he has a look. Got it. Mm, still can't see anyone. Well. Moving on target location! My hope is that I could reveal some guys so this guy can shoot at them. Yeah, I'm gonna stick behind a full cover. Now he's got the rocket launcher. Exalt forces are in position to hack the encoder. If we don't secure that equipment, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. Here. So if that lands, I guess I'll three of those guys. Avec plaisir. take out these two guys. Now if you miss again, I'm gonna be displeased. He's dead. I'm out of firepower over here. Yep. He's down. Alright. So that's essentially what we have to do. Just keep the bad guys out of this area. Either by shooting them. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so if guys come in here, we shoot them. If, for whatever reason, we aren't able to, if we get someone in here that neutralizes their ability to decode, but obviously having <laughs> one of our guys in this area probably makes them a, you know, a pretty uh, vulnerable target. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Of course, Shane can't get anywhere. Out. I, I sort of feel like bringing these guys over here is a mistake. <laughs> oh, 
I am ready to go. It's weird. I guess those guys landed and then just ran that way. I feel like my strategy has to be to bring these guys. Going there now. Oh, so they can kind of come and maybe flank the enemy. Roger, Dodger. No, he's got to get in closer, I think. Good copy, moving on target. Get line of sight from back there. Oh, good. Whoa! I've got a visual. Okay. In that case, I will activate this this turn. I'm all over it. We've disrupted the enemy communications network. It'll take some time for them to get it running again. I'm going to want to get him on my way. in position to get Wolf for the next one as soon as possible. Assault reinforcements moving it to position, Commander. Oh, good. I, I, whoa. Gosh, yeah. What? Oh, my God. Well, then. Well, you know, first things first. <laughs> Let's um, deal with these guys. I know rocket is overkill, but I need to hit three times this turn. And she has to reload. Those three guys, there's another guy back here. These guys are all exposed. Oh man, this is so bad. Hit these guys with the rocket, and I obviously have to get my uh, guy out of there. So then they'd have to move anyway. Uh, I mean, these guys are flanked. I take those guys out. I'm not flanked. My thinking is if I can kill all three of these guys this turn, it might be okay. So we can definitely kill that guy. So, I move him. 
I rocket these guys. How much damage does this rocket do? Select him. Oh, this guy's still on targeting. Oops. Okay. Shang. So I think Mayhem does extra damage. So if I do a regular rocket. Yeah, it's eight. Oh, eight would blow these guys up. Okay, so if the rocket connects, those guys are dead. My sniper can definitely take him out. Then Gao could throw down a smoke grenade. This. So to make. I don't think either of these guys are rocket guys, are they? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Did these guys go on Overwatch? Okay, I hope not. Because I need to get him out of here in order to fire that rocket. Okay, so he's got to shoot this guy. These two guys, we, are, we think we can take care of them. That's 98. 98. I'm guessing that guy's the bigger threat because he's got the better angle, I think. X ray neutralized. Alright. So assuming these guys get blown up, I want Jamaica to be because Gao is going to lay down the uh, the smoke. So you can't see that other guy. Okay, let me review again with the rain. Oops, sorry about that. Let me review again what the range of the smoke is. If I want uh, Zhang to be in it, I can't get to this cover. Yeah, so I can basically I need to run to make up to here, I think. Time to motor. I don't use these smoke grenades very often, but sometimes they're mm -hmm. quite useful. There's three exalt left, and I don't know if they're getting more reinforcements or not. They could very well. So we're not getting to that transmitter next turn. Or this turn. We could potentially get there next turn. Okay. Let's see what we've got over here. She obviously has no more rockets, and she can't see any bad guys, okay. She can see someone. 100% chance, but uh, no kill. Oh, 
not so hundred. Which you might be able to take this guy out. Yeah, that's probably worth losing cover. X-ray neutralized. So there's no good spot to get it. Or maybe a shot from here. Here. Yeah, there's only one high cover spot that I think would be taken by a soldier who would still get to take a shot. I'm gonna bring her here just because. Oh, wait, did she have grenades? Oh no, I gave her this they scope, that's right. Shabuz. Well, 50-50 chance of a critical, so that might work. I did get the critical. Now I sort of feel like if she comes here, she could probably have a pretty good On shot at that way. guy. That is a pretty good shot. Nailed it. I'm all out. All right. So, what situation are we in now? I believe that we have at least one more enemy over here, and at least one more over here. And I think they both have rockets. So, um, just be able to get there next turn, which means he needs to... Yeah, I don't know if I want to have him run to here. Because that would expose him. He'd run back here. And see if you can see one of those. That's see if you can find that rocket guy. Got a lot of heat on me. Guess that was uh, Overwatch. Look sharp, enemies rolling up. Why is he all blinky? That was weird. That seemed like a bit of a glitch. Oh, but he can't. He can't see that guy anymore. Looks like that was the last of Exalt's forces in the area. Excellent work. Well, needless to say, this went much better than the last time I personally did this mission. And you can see how it could get bad. Like, you could easily get overwhelmed. And if you don't have the right shots and the right angles, yeah, it can, it can, it can turn out poorly. to see our troops aren't hesitating to wipe out the aliens. I guess I shouldn't have expected any mercy. Well, those technically weren't aliens. But Dixon's now a major. Congratulations. Uh, about two reaction shots on Overwatch instead of just one or four more. I'm going to go for this easily. Not that this isn't good, but um, yeah, being able to heal your soldiers is crucial and this plus it pairs up nicely with the field medic now if i build the support as more of an offensive unit then i mean this tech tree might make more sense this is one anyway oh yeah deep pockets yeah. 
Okay, excellent. No casualties this mission either. Defender's Medal. New intel. Decryption of recovered data has revealed new information about the location of Exalt's base. The Exalt base is east of the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so it's not in North or South America. Got some more of these useless weapons. And some Exalt intelligence. Intel decrypted. Possible Exalt base locations narrowed. So I think if we look here... No, I don't see it on this map. I think next time there's like an Exalt mission, like it'll show which countries could have the base. But right now we're not seeing it. Oh, maybe on covert operations. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, so this indicates the places that the base can is definitely not. Um, it is not in North and South America and not in Europe apparently. So it's either in Asia or Africa. We don't oh yeah, Intel scan. I forget what this does. I think if we do this, this increases the chance of um, revealing information about where there might be a base. Yeah, so you can do the covert operative mission. So We're let's, really coming let's do down that. to the wire now. Intel scan complete. Positive ID on Exalt cell locations. Hmm. Exalt cell present. Well, we know the base is in here. Okay. Um. I like the idea of Legoto being our man. I want to get him a better... Actually, you know what? I'm starting to wonder if we'll really figure out what the reason for all this okay. was. Let me go to engineering. Can we build a plasma pistol yet? Uh, maybe not. I want to get one of those soon, though. So this is one of the disadvantages of ignoring beam weapons entirely. These beam weapons are relatively cheap, they don't take that long to research, and we would have had the opportunity to decide if we wanted to buy like laser pistols or get some of the, the beam varieties of the heavy and sniper weapons. You end up replacing them, so there's at the end of the day you've you've wasted the research time and buying those intermediate weapons that you're we not gonna use at some point. Tell them to get some rest. But the advantage is that you at least get those slightly upgraded weapons um, earlier. So it's a trade-off. Covert operative deployed to disrupt Exalt Cell in Australia. Woohoo! Okay. Uh, let's run the scan for activity and see if we get to this fighter craft or if we find ourselves having to contend with the. UFO, you know what? That's a good point. I was just thinking to myself. Uh, no, engineering. Items. We have an uplink targeting, but we don't have some of these other things. And while we have still not a special plasma cannon. Ooh, we definitely need to get some of these for our um, fighters, but for now, we'll just assume that if we get a any aircraft, we can take care of it with these. This is kind of a stopgap, really. Once we get a new uh, fighter craft and we equip it with plasma cannons, we won't need this stuff. <laughs> Yay, we finished research on the new craft. Now we can't build any yet because they're super expensive. At least I think they are. Why don't I see research for a plasma pistol? And why can't I research this? Oh, we don't have enough weapon fragments. Interesting. 
I'm curious, why can't we research, or why can't we build plasma pistols? None of these... None of these things are the prerequisite research. Maybe I just missed it. Decision. No, not with this. Okay, number one. Double check here. Probably can. Plasma sniper. sniper. Heavy plasma. Plasma rifle. Light plasma. I'm super confused. Do we have, is this a foundry project or something like that? Proof pistol. I wonder if we. Okay, one of the earliest developments the foundry magnetic ordnance system greatly reduces recoil of our entire weapons, our entire range of sidearms, utilizing the latest composite materials to upgrade. This upgrade will significantly improve the odds of our soldiers scoring a critical hit with it on their targets. Uh, doesn't sound like that. Um, okay, so after this recording, I'm definitely going to look up what we need. Research archives. This is so strange. I'm going to look up what we need in order to build plasma pistols. And we could do beam weapons to be done in three days. And then we could build some you know, plasma pistols, but I don't really see the point of that. Maybe we need a lyrium? Let's do a lyrium. <laughs> maybe we can change it later. Okay, maybe we'll hit this covert operation before the uh, we scan for anything else random. What the hell? Sir! Internal systems are shutting down all over HQ! Hostile forces have infiltrated XCOM headquarters and are moving in with reinforcements. We have to protect the base at all costs. If we don't hold the line here, any hope we had of stopping this invasion will be lost. But, okay. Um, this is a major mission. Uh, it's pretty intense. Um, yeah. So I'll launch this mission, but I'll immediately just save the game and we'll actually do this mission um next episode well let's, let's review it before we, we end this one so obviously um the issue is that aliens have infiltrated the base um and you see the the map is is uh XCOM headquarters you basically have to just kill all the enemies and they come in waves and the interesting thing is that you start with like a random uh selection of your soldiers and then you get reinforcements um but you don't uh, you don't get to choose which soldiers go on the mission. So let's launch it and see who we start with. Delta section, report. Delta section, report. Finally, Delta section. It looks like your emergency generators are back online. And oh Delta, whatever this attack is, you're right in the crosshairs. We've got perimeter alerts triggering from all sides. It looks like you've got flyers coming through the cavern near the rear guard station. 
Plus, you've got a whole wall of heat signatures coming down through the vents in the ceiling above you. Whoever breached our internal security locked down the door system separating you from the rest of the base. Once we get the doors open again, we can start sending reinforcements through, but that might take some time. Right now, it looks like the closest alarms being triggered are in the vents above you. Keep an eye out for any indications of movement. Delta Section, you have to hold the line. The future of XCOM is counting on you. Thank you for joining me, Dratman, for Dratman Plays, XCOM, Enemy Within, Episode 27. When we return, we will defend the XCOM base from alien incursion in Episode 28. Bye-bye.